Hey guys, Con here, welcome back to another video. So today we're playing some Black Ops 3 Beta. This is a pre-recorded footage, I'm just commentating over the footage. Um, I mean, it just given my first impressions of the game, and, you know, just overall what I think about it. So this is me just, um, just going through, like, the when you load up the beta for the first time, you see this, and you sort of get to pick, like, what class you want. I went for the, what is it, the, uh, the bow and arrow thing? Outrider, I went for. Uh, the sparrow, the you know the bow and arrow sparrow thing, and I went for that. It's pretty fun. Uh, in this video, actually, the match I do is not very good. I went like four and ten, I think, so not great at all, really. I didn't actually realize that you could have vertical and horizontal sensitivity. I thought it was just one, like in the other games that I played on Call of Duty. So uh, yeah, kind of a derp there. I didn't realize, obviously, but you could do that. Actually, my gameplay is sort of a bit off. Uh, it was a team death match on Hunted, I believe. Uh, but yeah, let's just get into it here. Oh, actually, this is me just going through the weapons. So those are the default classes. You've got an AK-47 or an ARC-7. Uh, Man of War, which I use a bit later on in... Which I use it in other videos. Uh, some snipers, some rocket launchers. I don't really like the sniper, the first one you get. I like the second one. Uh, the... I'm not quite sure what it's called. But I mean, it's pretty fun. It's a semi auto sniper, so it's pretty cool. Some LMGs there. Uh, uh, KRM, I believe that's a shotgun. The CUDA is probably my favourite submachine gun out of all of them. I've only used two of them, but I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty fun. Different perks here. I prefer just the first one you get for now um, over the other two that are unlocked. I, I haven't. Obviously, I unlocked the other ones yet, so I mean, I might change my opinion when I unlock them, but I mean, yeah, for now, that's my favourite. Score streaks, I uh, haven't unlocked any, obviously. I mean, this is my first go, so I haven't unlocked anything, so but, yeah, so load into a team deathmatch there. As I said, it was a team deathmatch on Hunted. So, yeah, as I said, I'm going for a, uh, a sparrow thing. I can't remember what the class is called, but I got the sparrow, the bow and arrow, as I've said. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's basically the crossbow, but it's upgraded, yes, and obviously it's not crossbow, it's bow and arrow. So, CVP, you have a green light. yeah, this is me trying to snipe. I realised that this sniper wasn't like for me, so Be advised. I'm not sure when that after a while I do swap to a Cougar, I believe, or the no, yeah, the Cougar. I swap to. So. counter UAV is online. I'm trying to hard to go there. Um, I've never actually been a first kill, so I can't do that. Oh, oh. Wasted. Okay, a lot of kill. 11 and 21 uh, score wise, so I believe we actually lose this game as well, spotted. which isn't great. Pistol, I had trouble with as well because I, I don't know, I don't like, um, I, I just don't like to use pistols to be honest. For my primary gun over the other ones, over the second one. Going for a hard to get there apparently. Yeah, if you enjoy this, there'll be a load more coming. I'm gonna try and pre-record as many as possible before the beta ends. So, um, yeah, I got my beta code a bit late, or my beta token a bit late, because Activision. Well, but I had problems with like getting the token. I didn't receive the email, so I had to contact them and stuff. So, got it a bit late. I'm not. Um, late. I mean, this probably could have been out yesterday or the day before. Uh, but obviously, you know, I didn't get my token, so that's that. Gameplay wise though, um, still trying to use the sniper controls. It's me trying to find the sensitivity here, so. So as you see there, it says look sensitivity vertical. Yeah, look sensitivity vertical. And basically I went through that and I just, you know, I, I assumed that it was gonna change the sensitivity, sensitivity for horizontal and vertical, but it didn't, so. Yeah, a bit derpy, but as uh, in my later gameplays that you'll see, I do, I have changed the sensitivity, so it's not painful to watch. Just quick disclaimer, I'm not great at Call of Duty, I haven't played it since Black Ops 2. I don't really like to go to sort of Advanced War, I hated Advanced Warfare. But, um, because of, like, I didn't like the whole fact that you could like, get onto the roof and just camp it there. It was OP, basically. With this, you can like, I believe it's a cyborg suit. So you can like exit, you can, it's like the exit suit, but above. obviously it's not at all, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, you can, you can sort of Hostile hover for a bit, or not online. hover, you can fly for a little bit, but you can't go onto roofs and things, so it's like, as you see there. 
So it's not like completely overpowered. You can kind of go everywhere, which I like about games like that or games like this. Okay, that swap pack kind of just ruined the Call of Duty series for me. But yeah. So anyway, here I am using the Cuda, trying to change my sensitivity again. We're on very high for some reason. Not sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> UAV above. Got killed by Dart, I believe that was. The, uh, the sort of hunter killer type thing. I believe you can actually control them as well. Not quite sure though. So yeah, another thing I like is that you can get onto like some things that are up high, but not like, as I said, not the roofs and stuff, so you're not completely overpowered. It just makes it more like, I don't know, more dynamic? Is that like the way to describe it? Sort of more, more like open, but at the same time, still, it's not like completely open and just destroys the game basically. I got killed. Uh, <laughs> got killed by I think probably Semtex or a frag. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, but uh, first impressions though, I really oh here's this power. I used it in this video already. But I it now. Oh, when I figure out how to use it. <laughs> there we go. Not, I don't believe I get any kills with this. I think I just die straight away. But I'm not quite sure. What I like about it is that it's like a one hit kill if you get them directly and then it explodes so anyone around the enemy you shoot will explode and die obviously so uh, yeah I like that about it and again it's kind of like the crossbow but at the same time I, I like it better just because I mean, it looks better for one but also just I don't know it's, it's a kill streak as well sort of thing so I mean you know like crossbow is a default weapon this you actually have to sort of earn and then you know when you get it if you feel like you've accomplished something I mean me personally anyway What have I got there? Gone Arc 7 with Reflex and something. There are no so yeah, we lost that one. Uh, Point 10, I believe I said. We need to fight look. smarter. Um, I got a final kill cam. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, not too bad. I don't, I don't really know like what a good kill cam is because I mean, obviously, like, is people have things against spraying. I think. Not sure if that's still a thing, but. But I played Black Ops 2, it was quite a big thing. I'm not sure, I haven't played Call of Duty in a while, so a little bit rusty, hoping to get better there. I do keep trying to press square and stuff to like roll out of the way like GTA, but I'm going to try and obviously get better at the Call of Duty controls. Uh, yeah, 4 and 10, not great, but at the same time, not man, uh, wasn't great at all. Anyway, yeah guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this, like I said, there'll be many more Black Ops 3 beta videos over the next few days and possibly weeks. Not quite sure how much I record. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.